instead of talking about that now, we're going to talk about stuff that we need to talk about to help you out. And the number one thing we'll talk about, I'll, I'll talk about the three things that's important to me is stop, develop, and finish in the game. I think that a lot of you guys call plays on the stop, and then some guys call them on the develop. You have to look at the whole play first, because a lot of times we hit our whistle, we hit it too fast, and if we held a little longer and let him finish it, we wouldn't have a whistle on plays. Okay? It's okay to be late. It's not okay to be early. Because a lot of times when you're early, you miss the play. And there might be games where you feel to yourself, you say, wow, I've had a call in a long time. I need to get a call. Don't worry about it. It's going to come. It's going to come. Don't make up stuff. When you make up stuff, you only hurt the, you only hurt the team. Okay? So we really got to work on blowing our whistle on the finish, not to stop and not to develop. Everybody understand that? Okay, so be, have a little slow whistle. Try. I know it's hard at this. I know it's hard, but still try. And then, and then, then your partner's got to trust you because they can't be coming from long distance from the third position calling fouls because I, I saw that happen today. We're calling fouls from the trail right in front of the lead. Right in front of the lead. That's not good officiating. I'll tell you, that's, if you did that in, in Art Highlands here and he sees you call the foul from the trail position and the lead sitting right there, he goes crazy. The lead has the best look at the play. Any play that's going to the basket, lead has first crack at it. Everybody understand that? Who is the secondary? Center. Center. Trail should be looking for goal 10 basket deference. Or pushing the back. That's what, he's, that's what, the, that's what the, trail's, I mean, the trail's supposed to be doing. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay? So that's that's one. C. When there's a black, and I tell you, this is the manual says in college. We're talking about college now, so everybody don't understand. In college basketball, when there's a block charge play that's going to the lead, the lead has first crack at it. The C's responsibility is to help for the feet. You understand that? That's important. Lead has first crack at it. So they said, where do you come up with that? Why did they come up with that rule that the C has second, uh, that doesn't really don't put to be blowing his whistle on the play? They said they came up with the rule because back in the day when they had two-man basketball, two-man, when usually you only do two-man, any player that went to the basket, who had it? The lead. So they said 90% of the time on the block charge plays, the lead got it right. Right? The lead got the play right. But now, when we went back maybe five, six years ago, when the C started calling block, I mean calling uh, block charges, they were getting them wrong. They were getting them wrong. How can you tell me? How can someone tell me when a drive happens in front of you? The drive happens and there's a drive that goes right to the baseline. Okay, goes to the baseline, and there's a secondary defender and a block charge happened, and the C could get that play. Who can tell me how they can? How can they get that play? Seriously, how can you get that play? Straight to dark. Huh? Restricted arc? No, no. How can you get the play that is a block charge play? Okay, let me show you. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> I am the C right here. Okay, see me? I'm the C. Drive happens, secondary <coughs> defender comes in here and takes, a, and takes a charge or a block. How can he see that? Yeah, can't. Can't. How can he see it? One thing he can see is the back of the defense. He doesn't know how much contact happened. He don't know if the guy flopped. The only one that has the best look at that play, right here, is the lead. Or even if the lead's hand, he closes down, he has the best look at it. He knows how much contact happens. Now, I'm not talking about the play that the guy drives to the basket. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not talking about one-on-one. One-on-one, the C can get that one-on-one -on -one play, right? We're talking about the secondary defender. Secondary defender. Okay? So you guys are all quick in the C spot trying to make the call. You, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have a blotch. What the lead C and what the C C is totally different, I'm telling you. I watch too much tape. I'm a tape watcher. I watch every one of my games. I take every one of my games. And I'm telling you right now, C be guessing on plays. Plays up here. Plays in, up here. That's him all day. That's his play all day. All day long. Any questions on that? Okay, so that's just that, and I don't know what boots. I don't know what you went over. You're right. We went over that this morning. Okay, so and that's and that's just something that I think that we need to get better. At, okay. Now, 
Play those in the baskets up high. Kick his head up high. Leap can't get it. Leap can't see high. C got to come and get it. C got to come and get it. C's the guy. Trail, trail, he should be sitting back there looking for, if it's, hey, he should be saying, oh, guess what? Score that basket. That's what he should be doing. He shouldn't be up there calling fouls. If you're calling fouls up there, then what the hell are you watching? What are you looking at? You're not, you're not, you're, you're not doing your job. So we got to make sure that the trail calls his area, his, his area responsibility. Lee calls his area responsibility, and the C calls his area responsibility. If those three do that, we in for a great game. We got a great game because everybody's on the same page. Everybody's on the same page. If I miss a play, going to the basket, and Ev's in the lead, I guarantee you, I mean, if Ev's in the trail, or the sink, I guarantee you he won't call, but I guarantee you he won't blow his whistle. I guarantee you he's going to say, Mike's going to live with that. <coughs> Last two minutes, all bets are off. All bets are off. Last two minutes of the game, we got to get every play right because a team cannot come back from your mistake. Remember that. Early in the game, we're okay. We can play, it's okay. But last two minutes, let's wrap it on. We always, that's our rule. Last two minutes, we gotta get every play right.